Right now we want to send it back out live to Chicago. Our man Steve Lehman is standing by and Steve, I don't even think the most diehard Predators fan saw this coming. Yeah, John, they called this place the Madhouse on Madison. Well, Saturday night in game two, it was sheer madness. The Predators getting the first career playoff goal from four different guys, and Pekka Rene pitched a second consecutive shutout as the Preds win 5 nothing over the Blackhawks to take a commanding 2 nothing series lead. We want to come out strong and you know, have a good, solid game. We knew they were going to come out flying, and um, you know we got we got one or two early there, and, or one early, and um, we just kept coming, played well, got got breaks, and said it before. I think as a team we defend so well. I, they box out, I, let let me see the puck. Um, you know, like tonight, there there wasn't probably one shot where I didn't see it, or um, so. You know, guys been doing a really good job in front of me and, and, and personally too, uh, feeling good and um, just uh, seeing the puck pretty good right now. Five goals coming from every line. Is this the type of offensive performance that this team needs to be capable of in the postseason? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, it's very important to have four lines uh, who can go up and down. And uh, right now uh, it worked and uh, we're just going to continue. Just to have four lines that that can play and you know he can kind of roll four lines and regardless of who they put on the ice that we're comfortable enough facing uh, whoever they have out there so I, obviously the playoffs are a long haul and um, I, to have four lines I think will be uh, beneficial down the run. What's it mean to get your first John you mentioned Pekka Rinne. he's now stopped all 59 shots he's faced posting the first back-to-back -back scoreless games in Predators franchise history. First back-to-back -back playoff shutouts by any goalie in the NHL since 2010. And in the process, the Preds become the first team to win the first two games of a playoff series here in Chicago ever. <laughs> That's something fans in Chicago and probably back in Nashville are still trying to wrap their heads around. No question about it, Steve. Thanks.